Hello everyone, welcome to Soap by Dennis. My name is Dennis and today I'm showing you how I made my orange soap with a hanger swirl and some frosting on top. Now first I'm preparing my silk, um, which is gonna go into my lye solution. Uh, I've got some tassa silk over here. Um, I'm adding it to some distilled water and then I'm pouring in uh, my lye, my, um, yeah, sodium hydroxide and then it heats up very, very hot and my silk will dissolve and that's how it's then added to the soap. And all that's left are the silk proteins and it should add to um, a wonderful creamy lather um, is what I've heard. I can't confirm it yet because I haven't, I've only made a couple of soap with silk yet um, so far and um, they are not um, done curing yet. So I can't really tell the difference yet because I haven't tried it. But uh, I'm always uh, up for trying stuff. Now I'm adding my sodium lactate to my cooled off lye solution and then it's gonna go into my lye, to my oils, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. So there will always be a little bit of the silk proteins that will be left in the, uh, what is it called, a sieve. And um, yeah, I always do that just to be sure that there's no big strands of uh, undissolved silk going into my soap. Now I'm just blending until emulsion and then I'm gonna separate my batter for my colors. Now it looks perfect, um, I've reached emulsion and now I'm separating. I'm using four colors I believe for this, um, is it four? Yeah, four colors. Um, I want the biggest part of my batch to be orange, so I'm adding that to my bigger amount of soap batter. And um, yeah, now I'm adding my titanium dioxide which is water soluble, which means I can't really tell uh, how white it's gonna be until I stick blend. And people that use um, oil soluble titanium dioxide have the advantage that they can instantly see how white their batter will be. Um, so I'm always trying to be a bit careful and add more uh, when I need it. So I've got my green, I have my yellow, and those are the four colors that I use. I'm adding my uh, fragrance oil separately which wasn't necessary because this um, fragrance oil that I use is very, very um, good and it doesn't accelerate, it doesn't rise. Um, so I could have just added it to the entire batch. So now you can actually see how white it actually got um, after I stick blend it. Now I'm working from light to dark um, so that I don't have to clean my stick blender in between. I always think this is very, a very easy and good way to do it. Um, which doesn't work when you have very different colors and there's no working from light to dark, then I think it's better to just have a bucket of water, um, maybe some hot water uh, to rinse your stick blender in between blending different colors. Now I've reached um, about a light to medium trace on all my colors. Just the green one hadn't, um, hadn't reached the perfect amount of trace yet that I wanted, but now it's good. And then I can start doing my pour. So tidying up a little bit and getting my soap mold and pouring in the first color, which is orange as the base. And after that, I will drop swirl the other colors into that before I do my um, hanger swirl. And this was actually the first time I did a hanger swirl and I made my tool my hanger tool out of some electrical wire. Uh, I just went to the shop and bought some electrical wire and I tested the wire out in the shop if it was bendy, if it kept its shape and I found um, some perfect wire and um, it's got a very thick coating. It's quite a thick tool. Like I know a lot of people use their um, coat hangers um, but I wanted something a little bit thicker and this did the trick perfectly as you'll be able to, uh, to see at the end of the video. I guess um, if you're using if you're if you're using a very light trace or just emulsion, then a very thin hanger tool will do the trick as well. Uh, but my trace was a little bit thicker, and I wanted the effect to be a little bit more obvious. And um, you just move around more better when using a thicker tool. So the the actual swirl will turn out quite different than when using a very fine tool. So I'm just getting all my colors in there. The only um, 
containers that I didn't empty were the orange and yellow because I'm going to use that for my frosting later on, which was also a first try. And um, yeah, it's not going to it's not going to be perfect. I tell you already, but um, it was fun to try it out. So that looks good. Let's tidy up the top a little bit. <clears throat> just checking uh, the state of my other colors if they're thickening up too much or not but everything's still fine it's actually gonna take quite um, a long time for them to set up again uh, before I can frost them but first the hanger tool so this is the electrical wire I had no idea what to do what kind of pattern I should make so I'm I'm hesitating a little bit and um, trying to think what could do the trick what could work um, and I'm doing this eight shape um, movements from the bottom to the top and um, <clears throat> then I clean the tool and get the rest of the batter back into my soap and then I just need to smash out the air bubbles um, and I didn't get them all but um, most of the bars were pretty smooth and I was actually quite happy with the final result there we go smash smash and here we go so i'm using like a, a, a plastic bag that i cut open and um, i'm pouring in or pouring on top of that my yellow and orange color orange colors and i'm gonna roll that up uh, so i can do uh, some frosting with two colors so like a duo tone frosting or at least i'm gonna try it Normally when you try something the very, for the very first time, you want to try and keep it very simple, but um, no way, I'm just going to try it with two colors, because, you know, why not? So I snip off the end of one side, I made a knot on the other side, and then I put it in my piping bag. Now, I didn't wait very long, and I'm trying to make my first little dollop here, and instantly find out that my batter is still too runny. So I stop. Um, now, you can't see this, but I wait another... 30 minutes I think and then I continue. Now I should have waited a little bit longer probably but um, at least you can already tell that it's way more defined and it's keeping its shape a lot better. It's not very easy um, piping um, frosting into a tall and skinny mold um, and I'm. it's also a bit tricky because my camera is of course above and you can't really see very well what I'm doing but I think you can sort of you know get what I'm doing there. Um, I have no other way of positioning my camera and I also don't often don't have time in between whilst, wait, whilst making the soap to change um, my tripod. Um, so yeah, I need maybe to find another solution for that. But um, So I'm just trying to empty my bag, so I'm adding more and more and it's getting a bit crazy, but um, it was fun to do though. And I think the colors actually look quite cool together. It looks very orange, uh, the yellow. But um, it's gonna turn back to yellow once um, it's once it dries up. Just set a hiccup there. So I spritz it with some rubbing alcohol. Now you can already see how yellow the yellow actually got, and um, the orange is actually quite muted now. Um, also, the light is pretty intense here, so everything looks a little bit more faded than it actually is. Uh, so the picture you saw at the beginning of the video and at the end uh, shows a little bit more of the true color of this soap. And the smell is fantastic. And I really, really like the effect that the hanger swirl had. It looks a little bit chaotic. Um, and I was hoping for it to be more of like the eight shape that I that I made. Um, this infinity kind of thing. Um, but, you know, it was a first try. And I'm just going to keep experimenting with it. And, um, yeah. Now I'm trying to measure again if um, I'm going to get the amount of soaps out of it that I wanted or if I need to be a bit more careful and like maybe leave one millimeter off from one side just so I get all even bars and as you can see on the left that bigger air bubble and there in the middle there's a, another tiny or two little tiny ones but um, overall the bar turned out very smooth and I'm very pleased with it and those are just like optical things They're, they don't have any influence on the quality of the soap I think the colors look very well uh, and they didn't blend into each other, um, very defined 
the white really pops, the green really pops, and um, yeah, I just think it's it turned out to be a very cool bar of soap, and I can't wait to, wait to use it, especially because of the silk as well. So yeah, I hope you really enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and see you next time. Happy soaping! Bye.